medicinal cannabis bill that was introduced yesterday to the New Zealand Parliament does three things which are really good. One is that it creates a domestic market and domestic production for medicinal cannabis products that will eventually be made available through pharmacies. The second thing is it creates a statutory defence initially just for terminally ill people that will mean that they won't be prosecuted for using this. Patients, not criminals! Patients, not criminals! The third thing is that it removes CBD or cannabidiol from the Misuse of Drugs Act so that again should make it either an over-the-counter medicine or a um, pharmacy only medicine. However, hasn't gone as far as what many people were expecting. Labour did say they were going to legalise medical cannabis and this doesn't really feel like it, not yet. We think that the danger with the domestic market, with the route they might be taking, if it's like Australia, we could be years away, with no real improvement for patients in the meantime. That's certainly been the experience in, in Australia, where it's big corporate grown cannabis and things haven't really changed at all for patients. Um, likewise with the exemption or the statutory defence, only applies to terminal people, which is great, but we question the logic behind that, like why, especially when Labour campaigned on legalising cannabis for people with terminal conditions and chronic pain, which even then was too narrow and excluded a whole bunch of patients. Why is it only limited to terminal? Um, why 12 months? How'd they come up with that? What happens if you live longer? Um, it also gives no protection at all um, to the people who provide it. Now, if you have a terminal condition, chances are you're not in any state to grow it yourself. It doesn't actually let you grow it yourself. It's only an exemption for the use of it. So the possession, administration, um, allowing your premise to be used, um, all these other charges, and um, the cultivation, your family members or friends who do it for you, they're all still going to be exposed to be, being prosecuted. We don't think that's right. Likewise with the CBD, um, that's awesome, it's really good, but the devil's in the detail. Will it be an over-the-counter medicine like it is pretty much everywhere in the world? Or if they continue down this kind of pharma route where it's really expensive, like 10 times the black market price, um, that's not really going to change things for patients because those sorts of products are actually already available right now and no one's taking them because they're too expensive and too hard to get. So, what happens next? Uh, actually, there's two bills before Parliament. There's not only this government bill, which will be whipped and the government will all vote for and it will pass, and we have this opportunity to improve it, but in tandem with that, the Green Party have their bill, which is more um, aligned with the American model, where you have growing your own and dispensaries, and both those bills are going to be up in Parliament, and hopefully they will both go through to select committee, where they can be merged or made better, um, but you can have your say, so keep an eye on that. Yeah.